Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring the Dark Rift, and this place, oh boy. Anyway, we did manage to find ourselves the Moss Armor, which sounds like it wouldn't actually be that good. Uh, let's have a little look at it, shall we? Now, who wears Moss Armor, I wonder? Let's have a look, shall we? Can Ica wear the moss armor? Nope. Somebody's got to wear the moss armor, surely. Or am I just delirious? Ah. Okay, an old suit of armor crafted from moss found in the dark rift. Um, Who would pick that up and think, yeah, that's better than what we have? Oh, Fina can wear it as well. Let's put Enrique's coat back on and see who gets the most benefit from it. Yeah, I'm going to say Enrique. Yeah, we'll give it to him. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm sure he's just literally wearing a piece of moss right now. Oh, we also had a seed or something, didn't we? Uh, somewhere. Stealth Ray, Dextra Seed. The seed of a dextrous tree, which blooms under the light of six full moons, increases Agile by one. Uh, not really sure who's the most Agile here, but let's give it to Enrique. Sure, I guess. Why not? We've got the charms. Right, so I think we're good. I think that's all we had. Uh, magic do, yeah, uh-huh, 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 okay. Right, let's continue, shall we? Okay. So, let's keep going. There should be another chest down here somewhere. There's actually quite a few chests here. Now, the weird thing about this place is all the chests are ships. Now, you know if you've already looted the ship or not, because it's got lights on. Yeah, man. And we have a manga seed. Shall we see? Now, what does the manga seed do? Items. Uh, manga seed. Uh, increases max MP by one. Um, who's got the lowest MP? It's still Vase. Uh, but, I mean, 28 MP. That's a lot. I can't imagine him, like, ever... Well, I can't imagine us ever using all of this MP. But, hey, we'll give it to FaZe, because he has the least amount. And Fina, having 28, mm, she's fine. So, let's continue, shall we? Let's look for a large rock wall. Ooh, look at that pulsing. Weird thing. Ugh. I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. Right, large rock wall is where our next treasure chest is. So we've got that one. Um, so, turn to the large rock wall. Ah, that one. Oop, we have combat. I think my notes are fairly clear. But, not always. <coughs> Still, we should be getting ourselves a nice upgrade for Vase. And that's not a bad thing. Right, let's go up here, shall we? Now, we probably could turn off combat here by using a white map, which would make things... Oh, hello. Oh, damn, look at this. Just absolutely destroyed. They made it so far. But failed. Dream Cutlass, you say? Okay. Uh, equipment. Now, how good is this? Dream Cutlass. A legendary sword that can supposedly rip the fabric of reality and make dreams come through. Well, I mean, I guess if it's going to make people take the big nap, it's going to be lots of dreams happening. Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how it works. 
Right, so. No. Oh god, more combat. Yeah, I don't want to miss out all the battles. So, as I've said before, I like getting all the XP. I would much rather be over leveled than to have to struggle. And you know, oh that weapon's nice. And having all that extra gold as well is also very nice. Uh, so is there a vortex close by? Oh there is. Let's go down to this vortex shall we? Ooh, open up. Let's have a little look in here. I think we're going through this. It's a bit weird flying through these. Kind of gives you a bit of a headache. Just a little bit. And you know, this Lombarda burst really is paying for itself. Like, it's probably the most useful move that we have. Just because it does a decent amount of damage. And it's relatively cheap. Be nice to get another level or two in here. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh, man. What the hell is that? That is the Black Moonstone. Hmm. Which is, uh, the, I think, the only discovery in here. This rare black moonstone holds tremendous power. It can turn positive energy to negative and vice versa. But a uh, practical application for this ability has not been found. There are rumors of a lost black moon. That would be cool. But the truth remains unknown. Wouldn't that be cool for like a sequel? Like maybe delve into that. Oh, God. Um, right. I'm not sure where we need to go here. Let is this the way back? This might be the way back because we've missed a chest, which is kind of annoying. This place is mega confusing, man. But it's okay. I'm sure between all of us and our worthy crew, we'll make it through. Uh, from what I can remember, this place isn't actually that big. It's just rather irritating to navigate. Or should I say, it's irritating to navigate when you're trying to get everything. And uh, I definitely want to get everything. Yeah, we need to move Vase off red. Because he's already learned it all. Maybe move him on to... Oh, we don't have anyone doing purple. Okay, might move him on to purple. Alright. Hopefully this will take us back. Yeah. Okay, I think we're back where we want to be. Now, let's have a look up here. We're looking for a big room that's apparently got smashed ships in front of us. Well, I'm lost. I hope I'm not the only lot one. Uh, unless we were in the right area. Unless there is another vortex above us, which there is not. Yeah, this is really confusing. Oh well, let's go back down here. I guess what I could do, if I miss any chests, I think we can always just come back in here. So that's probably what we'll do. I mean, the only reason that we're going for 100% of the chests anyway, or fingers crossed 100% of the chests, is we need it for some of the secrets. Which I am hoping to get. Yeah, I'm not going to guarantee we're going to get everything because some of the stuff in this game requires a heck of a lot of finicky know-how. Okay, so if we come through here into the Black Moonstone, um, 
Go into the vortex that should be like right in front of you. At the end, you'll find a large empty room. You'll want to make a sharp left and head into the nearby vortex, which I guess is that one. Question mark. We could be lost in here for the rest of our lives. That would be harrowing. But I think we'll be okay. I do like that when it kills everybody in one swoop. Hey, nice levels. Wow, Enrique is so far behind. But that's okay. Even if he doesn't catch up, I'm sure he'll be fine. Now, what's through here? Ah, okay. This, I believe, is where we want to be. Ooh. Oh. Oh, dude. Wasn't expecting this. This is not. No, this is where we want to be. Okay, we just have done it slightly out of order. Wow, look at the state of this place, dude. Whoa, there's a whole mountain of old sails and sailing equipment. There's some dried fish hanging here. Well, they look like they're still a little moist. Ugh. But probably best not to eat them. Alright, dude, don't mind me. I'm just examining this place. Whoa, there's a whole mountain. Yeah, we've got that. Hey, can we have a nap here? Is this supposed to be a bed? This doesn't look very comfortable, but it's probably more comfortable than the hammock and the little jack. Hey, man, that ship served us very well for a long time. Also, having a fire built on a wooden ship... Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Hello, ragged old man. Um, sir, are you alright? Did you get shipwrecked here? Who are you? Uh, I'm Vase, a blue pirate. What's your name? I don't know. Huh? I can't remember anything from before the shipwreck. I can't even remember my crewmate's names. I... I... It appears that he has amnesia, poor man. The shock of being shipwrecked must have been devastating. I wonder where he's from. Ah, it, it's you. Oh, thank the moons, I found you. So we do find... Okay, well, sure, you can leave your station. Don't worry about it. Your hair's a little longer than before, and you've got a beard now. But I know it's you. I'd never forget you. My husband, Robinson. Robinson? That's my name? Yes, that's right. It's me, Polly. Don't you remember me? Anne and I have been waiting for you for years. Polly? Anne? Wait. Robin... Polly? Yes! Yes! Yes, my name is Robinson. And I remember... I remember my wife, Polly, and my daughter, Anne. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, I remember now. Oh, Polly, I'm so sorry. You must have been so worried. I'm so sorry that I left you alone for so ro long. Well, it's not really your fault, I guess. I mean, you did something rather silly, but... Yeah, he probably needs a good wash. Just saying. I'll never let you go again. Nor will I, but it seems like you're a lot more woman than when I last saw you. Um, is he saying she's put on a few pounds? You haven't seen me in years and that's all you have to say to me? <sighs> Your name was Vase, right? I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because of you, I've been reunited with Polly. Yeah, and the first thing you do is take the piss. Polly tells me that she's a member of your crew now. I would like to go with Polly. Could I come aboard your ship as a member of your crew? Well, as long as your superpower isn't explosive amnesia, sure. Of course, we could always use more help. I'm not in the best shape, but I still remember how to sail. I can at least do that much for you. Nice. So he was lost. Ah, oh, he's just a sailor. But hey, cool. He was lost here for like 20 odd years or whatever. Was it 10 years? I can't remember. 
Uh, so, at least her husband wasn't that bag of bones that we found on Crescent Island. There's a diary on the desk. I've lost count the days, no, years since we were shipwrecked here in the Dark Rift. I don't even remember where we were headed. All of my shipmates have died, I'm the only one left. I often wonder why I don't just let go and join them. But there's something, something holding me back, keeping me going. I, I can't remember, I can't remember anything. I don't even know my own name. I think I remember that I have a wife and a daughter. Damn, why can't I remember? I feel so empty. I feel like something is missing, but it matters no more. I'm doomed to die here in these swirling clouds of death. I've sealed my own fate for whatever foolish reason. Well, don't you worry about it, dude. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. No chams or anything. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. You're uh, you're safe now. <laughs> That's quite cool. I like the fact that you can save that, dude. Right, I think there's more ships in here that we can pilfer. I think. And hard to see. Ah, there's one up here. Very hard to see because you can't really look up or down. That's what we wanted. No, it is not what we wanted. Uh, okay. I think we've done that in the reverse order, but it's fine. But I think if we descend all the way down, yes, there's another ship. Well, there's a few more ships, actually. But I think only this one is technically a chest. Interesting how many other ships must have tried to go through the Dark Rift over the years. Come on. Come on. Surrender your loot to me. Come on. Don't be like that. There we go. Hey, Sacrum Crystals. Right, so. Uh, we are up to date. Yeah, now we're up to date. Okay, cool. The music here is really good as well. Ooh, it's so ominous and bleak, which, you know, makes sense. Well, I bet that dude never thought he'd get rescued. I never thought we'd find someone alive in here, but hey, what do you know? Cool. Yeah, the music in this game is absolutely superb. It really is. Some of it is so perfectly, you know, suited for the scenes and the environments you go to. Fantastic stuff. You know, when I was uh, going back to Esperanza, or Esparza, whatever the hell it's called, uh, off camera, I actually just took in the music there for a minute, and it's fantastic. It really is. You know, when I shut up for five seconds um, and just listen to the music, it was good. Really good. Definitely getting rich here. Must have. Yeah, we're back over ten, uh, 100,000 gold. So... Now... We're looking... For a red flashing vortex, apparently. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am not seeing a red flashing vortex. Uh, should we take a gamble? Red flashing vortex. Do we have to get a bit closer, maybe? might be what we have to do. Ah, yes, that one's definitely strobing red. If you're colorblind, that's going to be really bloody hard to see. So, what do we have? 
Um, okay. Thank you. Right, where are we here? Ooh. The save station. I guess that's good. Although, I'm not seeing. Oh, wait. Hang on. Is this where we came in? This is where we came in, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, I mean, it would be foolish not to make use of the save station whilst we're here, I suppose. Well, our ship is definitely going to need a bit of a wash, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Right, so apparently we went through the wrong rift somehow. Not sure where that's going. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere, to be honest with you. Bugger. Have we somehow... Yeah, we've somehow come back the way we came. Uh, yep, that's fine. Oh well. Full steam ahead, I guess. Go back through here. Do we have to do that again? Probably would be the answer. Nope. Yes. Alright. Let's go. We're going to, like, get to max level in here, aren't we? That'll do. Okay. Right. Oh, man. This is making my eyes go funny. Dude. Definitely said that we should go through here. Uh, yeah, this is back where we started. Uh, this one is also flashing red, so maybe it's that one. Oh, well, one way to find out, I guess. At least this place isn't actually impossible to get out of. So, there's that, I suppose. Right, where do you lead? Oh, I guess that just leads straight through. All right, I guess that is the wrong one. All right, back. So that's two portals that lead to the same place, I believe, question mark? Not really sure. I can see why some people recommend that you have the white map equipped, so you don't have to get into combat. Might be something we explore. All right, cool. I mean, we are getting, we are getting money from doing this. We're just not getting a huge amount. All right, cool. So let's go through here and go back through the portal that was down here, which leads into the black moonstone room, which I uh, guess, is where we need to go. Man, I just... Oh, God. Where would we be without that move? Seriously. Wouldn't be winning all these battles as quickly, that's for sure. Okay, let's keep going. I suppose having these... Battles isn't really that inconvenient. It just slows us down quite a bit, which is the problem. But it's going to be worth it where we get to where we need to go. And I'm hoping this place has a... 
Right, we've been through that one. Have we been through either of these ones? See, that one's flashing red, which leads me to believe that's where we need to go. But... I don't know, dude. <laughs> We're just going around in circles at this point. Alright, let's see where this one leads. Hopefully. It's somewhere good. So there's not many enemies here, which is nice. We just kill them the old-fashioned way. Bah, barely worth our time. Oh, okay. This is certainly a little bit different. Go see what's in here. So there's the Aura of Valor, which is nice. What's all the... Ah, look. There's another one here. Certainly have you too. Really? Okay. Okay. Good thing our ship is made of metal, otherwise we would have set fire to it long ago. At least, kind of feels like we would have. Nice. Man, these things really are barely worth our time. Hey, we got a moonberry. Okay. So what was the aura of valor then? Let's just have a little look. And I suppose whilst we're here we can heal everybody. Let's top everyone off. Now aura of valor, what was that? Well, whatever it was, it's not here. Is it a Might be something we can sell. Hmm. Ah. Sure, I saw it. Where is it? What is it? Ancient Bracer. Nope, it's not going to be that. Or his heart. Okay. I have no idea what this Aura of Valor was. Doesn't even look like it's something that we could sell. Got a seed. Power increases by three. Uh, give that to Enrique. Ah, Aura of Valor. Here we go. Sacred stone that boosts the spirit of the entire party to heroic levels. Okay. What does that do? Might mean we start off with more spirit, maybe. Okay, cool. So, I guess that's that. Is this something that we can... Ah, there's another ship. Nope, that is not a discovery, apparently. Really? Oh! That 
is Bane again. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard to take this guy out this time. We should be more than leveled for him anyway. Fingers crossed. Might have to start whipping out something a little bit more powerful. Oh, nice. Oh, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they're not really that dangerous, to be honest. Uh, let's go for... You know, it's just standard attack. Uh, yeah, attack. I guess, really... Um... I guess we could have some regeneration. Probably gonna match any, almost any damage that he does to us. We could buff ourselves as well, but there just doesn't seem to be much point. Ooh, burst does damage, but not a huge amount. Yeah, it's kind of sad, really. Uh, I'll tell you what. You can go for some Cutlass Fury. You can fight as normal. You. I uh, can't quite afford that by one. Ugh. Okay. You know what? Go for Lunar Glyph then. See if it's going to work on him. Although that's, yeah, probably going to kill him. Definitely kill him. 4,000 gold and some good XP for once. And an Isil Seed. Nice. So we got the Chalice of Blood from there. Cool. Okay. Now let's heal everybody up. Because that was pretty rough, actually. At least it was rough for Enrique, anyway. Uh, now... Go for some items. Oh, we got another seed, didn't we? Isol seed. Increases will by three. Well, we'll give that to Fina. Cool. Okay. So, here's the annoying thing. So, we've got the Moonberry. Eh. Did we get the 2000 gold I can't remember okay I'm gonna have to watch this video back I think to see if we got all the gold right so where do we go to go back through there might be back through there Keep nudging my mouse. Can't believe we've been stuck in this bloody dark rift for this long. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to end the video. Hey, Enrique, you leveled up. Well done, buddy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video here, guys, because we're actually out of time. So, uh, I'm going to double check that we've got everything. And then when we come back, we can just get out of here. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.